So today you find me at Gloucester Cathedral, which is a beautiful, beautiful building. But interestingly, it's got two very important people that have been laid to rest in there. And one is Edward II, who was not very well liked and apparently was murdered when they put uh, a poker up a certain part of his body, which, is, which obviously resulted in his death. And the other notable person is Wim the Conqueror's son. And of course, all of you will have heard of Wim the Conqueror, one of England's greatest kings. Well, his son is also in there, or his remains are in there. So there you go, a bit of fascinating information for the weekend for you to have a think about. And I'll quickly let you have a look inside as well. There's been an abbey on this site since 679. And the stone abbey that stands here today, built in Norman style, began in 1089, so it's been around for a few years. England's only coronation outside Westminster Abbey since 1066 took place here and it was for the future King Henry III who was crowned here in 1216 when he was just nine years old. And yes, for those Harry Potter fans out there, you might recognise some areas in this cathedral because it was used for the filming of Harry Potter. And then we find the tomb of the murdered monarch. King Edward II was buried here in 1327 after meeting a mysterious and rather gruesome end, as I mentioned earlier. This magnificent tomb was built later on the orders of his son, King Edward III. It became the Abbey's most important monument because it brought visitors and wealth, and Henry VIII even saved the Abbey from destruction because his royal ancestor was buried here. And here we have the processional cross that's used during services, but it was also used at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. The monks' daily lives revolved around this world-famous cloister. Marvel at that beautiful fan-vaulted ceiling and discover the monks' communal washing area known as the lavatorium. Don't you just love that word, lavatorium? The cloister also appeared in parts of Hogwarts School in not one, not two, but three of the Harry Potter films. This without question in my mind is one of the most beautiful cathedrals in the country and if you ever have an opportunity to visit Gloucester this has to be on your to-do list. As I also mentioned, when the Conqueror's eldest son, Robert of Normandy, is buried in the cathedral. He's known as a bit of a royal rebel because he fought his brother King Henry I for the crown and was imprisoned by him for nearly 30 years, ending his life at Cardiff Castle. For those of you that enjoy history, you really do feel as if you've gone back in time when looking around here. And 
here we find the beautiful Cloister Garth, which is a peaceful garden that forms part of the cloister. It's a great place to relax and reflect, and it also has the best view of the tower. Thank you for joining me on this historical tour around the Abbey. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next Wednesday at 5pm for the next At Home with the Royal Butler.